Hello, my name is Roger Molina, and I'm going to give you a short presentation of the UT Dallas Earth Sci Lab. Um, I'm a professor of physics, but also in ATEC, and I serve as the executive editor of the Leonardo Journals and publications at MIT Press. Uh, and the lab was co-founded with Professor Kassidi Nazir, who is now at UNT. Um, the Earth Sci Lab is a temporary autonomous zone, uh, but I just want to thank the donors and volunteers for making the lab possible in particular to Edith O'Donnell and the O'Donnell Foundation for not only making ATEC possible, but in particular the, uh, this lab. Um, and I just have to mention that during the pandemic, without the O'Donnell Foundation, we would have disappeared. Uh, I also want to thank the family of Marjorie Duckworth for endowing an award for transdisciplinary students who will or may become hybrid professionals. So uh, we're not trying to do novel things or innovation just for the sake of innovation. We're trying to combine the arts and sciences or multiple disciplines when desirable. Um, we're part of a growing international community that's working uh, with these new interdisciplinary approaches um, on problems that maybe are more difficult to solve in disciplinary ways. Yes, we need disciplinary experts. I need, used to be an astrophysicist. Uh, yes, we need professionals with deep general knowledge. I used to be a bureaucrat running an institute. Uh, an astronomical observatory, but we need billions of hybrids and amphibians who are really, really good at more than one thing. Uh, too often, our cultures and institutions treat hybrids as strange, unfocused, dispersed, and so on, and make it very difficult for them to get the professional development that they are trying to do. Um, and fortunately, there is now scientific evidence from the neurosciences and longitudinal studies that to really attack difficult problems, you need to develop techniques for integrating ways of knowing. So in our lab, we invite student projects initiated led by students from any discipline on campus. Um, and for instance, um, Taylor Green and Carolyn Trotter, both MFA students in ATEC, run our ASL carousel, where they exhibit and curate artworks, science works, and art science works without worrying about what discipline the work is for them to show in public. Um, one of the fun projects we have is in the ceiling of this room where I am, we have the Sky Gallery, uh, where there are QR codes and images so that you can point your cell phone to the ceiling and then get exposed to very amazing artworks of different kinds. Uh, and we show work in multiple locations in the ATEC Dean, Dean Suite, but also we work with local community groups and different kinds of local organizations. Another example uh, is PhD student Tina Kin, who works at the Capital One Bank. She's a computer manager, but her thesis is to apply metaphor theory to data visualization on very difficult business problems. So do Chinese metaphors lead to different conclusions than Italians? Should you change metaphors depending on the problem? Yes. Uh, all of this work that I'm referring to is part of the Leonardo Isas networks in experimental publishing and experimental curating. So, just a joke, let's cut down the tree of knowledge because trees have branches that don't know how to talk to each other. Let's create a rhizome of knowledge because the roots of trees in ecologies actually do know how to talk to each other and help the collection of trees survive. So we also welcome uh, projects led by faculty and researchers at UTD, most notably Professor Catherine Evans and Paul Nichols in, in the business school, she's in A&H, uh, has been working on a project for several years now called Earthspace Learning for Business. Uh, yes, business people need to learn a number of skills and activities that artists are particularly good at. Uh, for instance, uh, Professor Lingo, who is also in A&H, has developed some modules on improvisation techniques to help business people uh, explain what they do better to convince their audiences. Um, upcoming, we're working with Professor Cersei Shashank, who's in bioengineering. Uh, he works on delivery of drugs to the right part of the brain using micro bubbles and yes, making them pop. We work with Judd Bradbury in the business school and Omkar Ajnadkar in engineering. Uh, on our data analytics team for the art sciences. Um, and yes, uh, the project that Judd Bradbury has us working on right now is can Reddit data tell us what's in the minds of stockbrokers that they don't know is in their minds? And can we use that data 
to anticipate what might happen in the stock market in the future. Uh, some of the analyses methods are intriguing. Can you analyze the intent of a document, not its content? Is it fraudulent? Is it fake? Uh, the level of sarcasm. Uh, are you using poetic license to exaggerate in a document? So, but we can also use data analytics to try and understand from all our recordings what we don't talk about that maybe we should. Are we excluding key concepts that maybe we should bring into our methodology? Uh, the, uh, a, a family friend of ours, Dan Boston, a joke that we used to be data poor and meaning rich 100 years ago. Now we're data rich and meaning poor. Uh, so let's use data analytics to uh, help us make sense of the data world we're now part of. So thank you. Yes, disciplines are bubbles too. Let's learn to make them pop or merge them into blobs. Thank you very much.